Welcome back to my channel guys, it's me, everyone with another anime uh, first impression video. Uh, like I said, we're coming close to the end of these first impression videos and quite a bit of them already uh, are not out for three, two episodes. So this one, uh, time of recording has two episodes out and I'm excited to talk a little bit about this one, uh, a few more. Uh, it is a Crunchyroll uh, release, I think it's only two episodes, uh, like I said, are out for now. Uh, both subbed and dubbed. Now, I'll talk a little bit about why that's important in just a second, but before anything else, if you have not done so by now, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you give some love uh, to the channel as well by commenting, liking, and sharing. Uh, there's quite a bit of stuff coming this week for you guys other than first impression videos, so if you're into other stuff other than just first impression videos, uh, give a like and subscribe that helps tremendously you guys don't know understand you don't understand how much it does so please do uh i i've had a increase of um viewership and love these past few weeks and i do appreciate everyone who is helping out on that so thank you so much for that so today we're going to be talking about tales of uh lumendale the fateful ugh. Faithful something. I, I misspelled it on my paper. And I don't want to mess it up, but you guys can see it by the title. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to mess up the name. It is one of the ones that I was uh, iffy about, uh, and it was later released than the other ones. Uh, but finally got myself a chance to, to see the video. I watched the first episode and part of the second episode. And like I said, it is dubbed, um, which is a big move of Crunchyroll and they have done this before but I think only for one or two others in the past and it is a big move when it comes to them releasing simultaneously both subbed and dub at the same time. Typically with Crunchyroll it takes them about three to six weeks later to even release the dub version. Um, Funimation is really good at doing you know, two to three weeks, and sometimes also at the same week. But for Crunchyroll, and and let's get this, you know, you know, understand this now. Formation now owns Crunchyroll as well, so Crunchyroll now, being led by a new group of people, is now releasing anime or at least one of these animes at the same time dubbed. And I think that's big. There's a lot of people who still just watch dubbed, and you know, uh, I myself am a big believer of not shaming people if they watch dubbed. So if you do good for you uh i watched the first episode subbed watched the second episode dubbed to just kind of see the differences um and this one the dub version wasn't too bad um i i will say i've probably seen better dub versions out there but again you know if you don't have time to be sitting there and watching the video straight on like sometimes there's animes that i know that aren't like over the top great and i like to watch anime while i wash dishes and i can't be looking at the screen the entire time so i'll do that so no shame there uh <laughs> let's talk about the first episode the first episode essentially we meet uh three characters or actually four but we'll, we'll talk about the first three uh two who are apprentice and one who is the leader and they're coming into a mission into the city and we don't know much about the mission until the end and they're basically trying to retrieve a specific item that helps the city run itself um and they go into the city the city is in lockdown because there's a threat of you know uh attackers coming and these attackers are essentially monsters and these people are allowed to go in because they're important people of i guess the the kingdom that rules the city uh but they do see people outside who are essentially left um behind because the, it's a lockdown they can't no one can can enter really uh with very few exceptions so these soldiers apprentice uh the guy specifically decides that he is going to help the people outside who are coming or trying to come in for medicine so he tells them hey i can go in i'll go buy the medicine i'll bring it back to you you know sit tight you know i understand it, it sucks that he has to stay here but i'll do it for you so he kind of goes out his way gets the medicine and on his way back they're already being attacked and uh we see that these two apprentices essentially are pretty good warriors they go and fight these monsters and they help the uh the guards on the walls basically uh defeat the monsters outside with no casualties which you know is pretty good it's pretty good from their part uh he also gets the medicine to the people on time and basically gets to see the good heart of these characters and uh, why they do what they do is to defend the people and to protect the people as well so 
Uh, when the mission finally starts and they're on their way to get it, there is a Federation, which is it's essentially the opposite power, going for the same item. And he ends up fighting who we now find out in the episode is one of his childhood friends. And that essentially is the first episode. We get them, we see them fighting. And I believe at one point they, the Federation does get the item and their captain shows up at the end. Like everyone's kind of freaked out of why he's there, but that's really the end of the first episode. Uh, second episode kind of concludes that and gives us a little bit more understanding of what's going on. Who's the good guy? Who's the bad guy? Because uh, it, it almost seems like when the two childhood friends are battling, though they're, they're both battling because they're, they both believe that what they're batting, battling for is the right thing. So you kind of go into this whole... And, and you know, and this happens in war all the time. Who's right? You know, they obviously both have intentions to protect your people, and they both have intentions to to do good in the world, I guess, in some way. But they kind of they everyone, especially in war, approaches it differently. So, what approach is the right way? I guess is what I, it all falls into. And um, I like the first episode. It, the only thing I didn't like it is that it is a lot of parts is in three D. And the 3D is not up to my taste, I'll say it like that. It reminds me almost of when Black Clover started adding 3D. At first, it was just like, ah, it's so messy. A lot of people judge me for saying this, but it was, just, it, was it seems so messy. It seems so blocky at times as well, uh, especially during the fight scenes. So it's, it's not as bad as the black clover episodes that i saw black clover did way better afterwards but um i i it is very noticeable that it's different animation than what we're used to so um i will say that probably was a downfall for me i don't see this one being top five of the season um could maybe sneak in into top 10 but it would have to really have a good story because all the other factors really don't really help it so Personally, the story was good. Hopefully, it continues being good. Uh, because it is being dubbed, uh, it's one of those that even if I drop it, I'll probably eventually watch it because it is dubbed. So, I'll give it mm, 6.5 out of 10 is what it probably deserves at the moment. So, uh, we'll see if it increases or it lowers um, after it releases more episodes. So, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this. Again, if you have not done so by now, make sure you subscribe to my channel and give some love by commenting, liking, and sharing. Uh, it, it shows so much for those who do help out, uh, how much they help out. And uh, thank you so much for those uh, who have stayed since my move. My, my move was a huge change to the channel. It is still is quite a bit and I, I appreciate those who've stayed uh and again thank you so much for the support see you guys next time and like always don't be strangers see you guys